Hey everybody, it's Frozen with Outdoor Adventures and thanks for joining me. Today we're going to talk about changing the suspension on a gathered end hammock. Now when I say suspension, I'm talking about either a whoopee sling, a cinch buckle, or just the continuous loop if you want to attach some kind of hardware onto that loop. Now changing the suspension on a hammock is really, really simple. It takes about five minutes and you can do it yourself in your home with pretty much no tools whatsoever. As long as you have a piece of string laying around, you can pretty much do this yourself. First, let's take a look at a hammock without a bug net because I think it'll be easier to understand and show you what I'm about to do. So what you're looking at here is a hammock without a bug net, okay? It's the most basic type of hammock. Okay, so you can see it's pretty much just a rectangular piece of cloth. Now, on the end, it is folded over onto itself like this, and then it has a stitch running. So pretty much this little thing right here is hollow, okay? There's just a channel running all the way to the end. So a, the way a hammock works is basically you put a rope through this channel and you squish it all together, to pop it out the other side, okay? And now you have the hammock. So it's just a rope that goes through this channel. That's all it is. And it's pretty much standard on any gathered end hammock. So now that you understand that, let's go over to the table and set up the new suspensions. Okay, so here we have the one end of my dream hammock, Daria. Now this is a gathered end hammock. It has a bug net. And right now it just has stock, a continuous loop. Okay, so you can see that right here. Now what I want to do is I want to put this cinch buckle on the end of this loop, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna first take this apart, okay? So like I said, this rope right here is just running through the gathered end of the hammock, the sewn channel. Now you're also gonna see this rope right here. This is the ridge line that's inside the hammock. So kind of pull that out a little bit and set it off to the side. We're not gonna need it just yet. So I just happen to have some zingit right here. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna tie a very light knot in here just to kind of stop it so I don't have to re-thread everything. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pull that loop right out, okay? So you can see I just took the loop off, all right? Okay, so now instead of this continuous loop right here, we just have a piece of zingit holding everything together. So we're gonna let that there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the skinny end. We don't want the wider end, this end right here. We want this one right here. The reason being is this loop, to make this loop, okay, obviously it's just a normal rope. They actually spliced it into itself, okay? So that's why this end of this rope is thicker than this end, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna feed that cinch buckle right through there. And we're gonna run it, the other end of that loop, right onto itself. And that, once it gets tight, will be the cinch buckle. We're gonna tie the end of our rope, our zingit in this case, back onto that continuous loop, okay? And we're just gonna pull it right back through. Might need to get it started. But after that, it should just come right through real easily. Remember not to lose your ridge line. If you do lose it, you can grab it from the inside, but try not to lose it. Okay, so we're just working that channel through that line and it will pop out the other side for us, right like that, okay? Okay, so here's what it looks like. Got the cinch buckle on one end and then a little loop on the other side. So this is the same rope right here, obviously. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this ridge line loop and run it right through the loop that doesn't have the cinch buckle. We're then gonna take the cinch buckle and run it through the larger loop. And then we're simply just gonna pull and cinch everything down. Now you wanna open your bug net and take the ridge line from inside and just kinda pull everything and make it tight, okay? Now that'll tighten up a lot better once you're in the hammock, but as you can see, we have just installed a cinch buckle onto our gathered end hammock. So now 
what we're going to do is we're going to take this off and I'm going to put a whoopee sling onto this line. And I'm going to not cut here. I'll just show you exactly what I'm doing one more time. Tying the zingot on so we don't lose our rope. Okay, and we're simply pulling that out, grabbing the ridge line, setting it off to the side. Okay. Now we're going to put a whoopee sling on here. So we're going to find the small end right here. Okay, and that's pretty much going to act exact the same way as the cinch buckle did. We're just going to tie that to the end. Okay, and then pull it. And like I said, it might take a little bit to get it started. Okay, and you can see the whoopee sling is out here now. Again, put that end of that ridge line on the, the other loop, and then you're gonna run the whoopee sling through itself. Okay, and again, tighten everything down, reach in, pull your ridge line, and lock everything down. Again, it will tighten up once you get into the hammock. So as you can see, now we have a whoopee sling on the end of our hammock. Very simple. So as you can see, it's extremely easy to change the suspension on your gathered end hammock, whether you want to use a continuous loop, a cinch buckle, or even a whoopee sling. So I hope that helps somebody, and thanks for watching.